Hi everyone. So it's time for today's connections game. I know you have seen the thumbnail, so you would know what the words of today are. But I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to show you the 16 words. They need to be put in four categories of four words. Pause this video and give it your best shot. Watch till the end of this video. At the end, I will reveal the four groups of four words. Let's start with today's puzzle. So let's start with our first word, buff. So buff is an interesting word because it's it can be a noun, probably an adjective and a verb. So in here, in this puzzle, the buff is like a movie buff or a car buff or food buff. In that sense, it means to be an enthusiast for something. So a car buff or a movie buff is a big supporter or big lover of movies or cars. That's a buff. But then to buff something when you have the verb buff, that means to kind of make it shiny and, you know, taking care of it, polishing it. That's to buff it, you know. Let's buff this surface, buff your car, buff your buff your house. It's it's kind of like making something shiny and beautiful and polishing it. So that's buff. So a movie buff is a movie enthusiast, and then to buff means to you know to make something shiny and beautiful. Then we have the word fan. Now, fan has so many meanings, right? So here, a fan, it's an enthusiast, right? So that's that's for this puzzle, for the purpose of this puzzle. Fan is an enthusiast, which actually, so it's a sports fan, but it's short for fanatic, right? So this person is a huge fan, right? So that's you know so fan i'm a big fan so fan in that sense means a supporter means a lover means almost a you know fan. it's basically a fanatic is short and so it could be you know i'm a big fan of yours that means that i'm you know i'm a huge lover of your work you could be a fan of a movie a fan of an actor fan of a game and of course, sports fan, right? Sports fan is huge. I mean, the word probably fanatic comes from that, that when you are a fan of a team, right? Like I'm a fan of Wolves, I'm a fan of Golden State Warriors, NBA team, right? So that's a fan, like a fanatic, a lover. Then, of course, we have the word fan as in, you know, fan. Or, you know, fan as in the, you know, this fan is the, the thing with, uh, you know, parts that blows, wind, that's a fan, right? But also, fan is the thing that you open with your own hands and you fan. And then, and then it becomes a verb to fan yourself, right? Fanning, right? But also you can say fan the fire. That means to kind of make the fire worse. It's, a, it's not a good thing to fan the fire. That means that you're making things worse. You're escalating things. That's to fan the fire. It comes from, you know, creating wind by moving something. And so, as I said, those are the many meanings of the word fan. Then we have the word not, <laughs> which is again here in this context means an enthusiast. That's like it. You know, I'm a chocolate nut. I love I love chocolate, or I'm a fruit nut, or I'm a whatever. I'm a you're a nut, like you love this TV show or something. So not in that sense 
means a huge fan of something. And it comes from the fact that not, in that sense, it also means crazy, right? You are a nut, or you are nuts, which means that you're crazy. Or a nut house, which is actually a loony bean, which is a place where crazy people, mentally unstable people are kept. So not, you know, so that's a, I'm a, you know, I'm a sports nut. I love sports. I'm an NBA nut. I'm a basketball nut. I'm a whatever. I'm a car nut. So it's not in that sense. It's just like fan and a buff means a supporter, a lover. And then, of course, not, you know, English is interesting because you can be nuts. Nuts means crazy. Not and nuts is the same. Not, nuts and nutty. All of them means crazy, right? But then not, of course, it's, you know, like peanut or coconut. Well, I mean, not coconut, but peanut or, you know, dry things like peanut and almond and, you know, cashew, they're all not. So that's another word for not. But then you can have nuts, <laughs> which is, you know, different nuts together. So you have cashews and you have almonds and pistachios and, you know, you have nuts. And of course, then that the same nuts means crazy. So, and, you know, it's interesting because in English, you can say, you know, somebody fruit is like a fruitcake. That means that they're crazy and like, or nutty fruitcake, that means that they're really crazy. Nutty fruitcake, all of them, that means crazy. And so in this context means enthusiast. And then finally, lover, you know, which is the simplest word. Lover means that, you know, I'm a car lover. I'm a food lover. I'm a, you know, lover of soccer, whatever, lover. But of course, lover, you know, it comes from the word love, of course, but it also, lover means somebody's mistress or somebody's you know sexual partner and you have a lover when you know that means that you just this person is your friends with benefits so that's lover and so in that sense you can say either you can be a lover of like you know, I know i'm a lover of chicken i'm a lover of bananas but also you are somebody's lover, that means that, you know, it's a sexual relationship thing. So, yeah, th so the four words for today were enthusiast word, were buff, fan, not, and lover. Then we have the four words for making things shorter, clip. Clip itself is interesting because clip, you know, has, it has many meanings. Clip like a uh, you know, clip, like a video clip or audio clip. It's like a little bit of it. But clip also means to cut things, as in make sure there, as in this example. But also clip is like to punch somebody, clipping them. Did you clip them? As in, did you cut them? Or, did, I mean, did you hit them? And so that's the word clip also. Uh, but, you know, clip itself has so many different meanings. Maybe we do another video about clip. But, you know, cut and peace and all these things are and then of course there's the word make sure there is cut now cut you know cut is a simple word but cut also is like you know like when you're making a movie say cut so that's another word uh, like a cut scene and you know i'm not cut for cut cut out for this right so it's like i'm not prepared for this task and of course i've talked about this importance of english language to not use to be very careful of when you have short versus long vowel sounds so you can say cut which is short cut or i'm caught caught like caught up which is the you know past tense of catch so caught is not as cut so this is very important to pay attention Otherwise, you make a mistake and, you know, that you use them in the wrong places. So cut and cut are not the same. 
And then for the word make sure that again we have pair, like pair something down means to, you know, make them smaller. And it's interesting because, you know, pair is one of the words that we can write it in many different ways, right? So here, make sure there's P-A-R-E, but then you can have the P-A-I-R word, and that means couple, right? And so it's it's important to to distinguish. And even the word pair could be P-E-A-R, which is the fruit pair. So each one of these is, is the same sound, but they're different. And then finally, for make sure that we have trim, and to trim means to, again, to make something shorter, to cut it, but also trim, you know, you can use it for your face or give me a trim. That means that, you know, cut my beard or something. So that's that's the trim, or you can even use it for clothes. So those are the words for make sure there, which is clip, cut, pair, and trim. And then we have words for muscular, which is built, you know, somebody is built, you know, they're very muscular, well built. So build, because build has to do with muscle and has to do with body shape. So when somebody is built, but of course, build comes from build and, you know, anything which is built. And then the word, we have the word jacked, which is muscular. And jacked is not a very, like it's, you don't use it in a lot of pace, places. Jacked is only used for this muscular thing. You have the verb jack, which is, again, not that, you don't use that that commonly. And then we have ripped, which is the same thing as muscular. Now ripped, of course, ripped comes from rip, and rip means to cut, and rip means to, you know, rip something up, but then, you know, we can have the same word rip or rip off, which is, this is a rip off, which means that this is like stealing money. This is swindling. So that's rip off. So, but you can rip something up like a piece of fabric, but then you can be ripped as in this case, which is muscular, built, ripped. And as far as finally, we have the word for muscular soul, which is, you know, it's not a very common word, commonly used word have probably something to do with soul and, and, you know, soul and muscles and stuff like that. And then finally, the fourth group. So the third group was things that are muscular, which is built, jacked, ripped, and soul. And then the last group is the wrinkly things, like brain. You know, it's just a weird game. Brain is wrinkly. Then prune. Prune is, you know, the fruit prune. Pug, pug is wrinkly and walnut. And it's interesting because walnut, just like brain, is kind of wrinkly. And they kind of look the same. So anyways, see you tomorrow. Thanks.